in Moverly, written by Sean Boyland. I was deep down in the bottom of the Lagasso Sea. There was a huge crowd of fish there to see me. Hi, everyone. It's the 80th annual Sea Olympics. I won the gold medal in super speed swimming last year, but I hear there are some really fast swimmers this time. Oh boy, here they come. Good luck, you guys. Here comes the judge to start the race. from school and say goodbye to Mateo, my bus driver. Bye, Mateo. I saw my tire waiting for me outside my parents' hotel. Take a look inside. Hey, sweetie. Hi, Ellen. How was school today? Terrific! It was the 80th Sea Olympics, and I won the gold medal in speed swimming. There were a bunch of really fast-looking fish and turtles, but they weren't fast enough for me. Congratulations, sweetie! Another gold medal! How many have you won now? Twelve? <laughs> Thirteen! What are you looking at, Dad? Isn't this awesome? It's a bird's nest! Where did you get it? We found it by a tree in the back. We wanted to help out the birds, so I decided to build them a house. Wow! A birdhouse? Yeah. Now they'll have a bigger place to live. And I bet they'll feel a lot better when it rains. Cool! I just finished putting it together, and Cooter's been out back painting it. Do you want to go see how he's doing? Sure, Mom! There I was, on another one of my daring missions. I was the most important pilot in the sky because... I was the one who delivered the mail to the birds! Sandra Winston! Looks like another letter from your sister, Miss Winston. Louis Beakley? Here you go. Happy birthday, Mr. Beakley. I sure hope Mr. Beakley is okay carrying that great big present. Mr. Codman? <laughs> Actually... I found Cooter in the backyard with the birdhouse. Hi, Cooter! How you doing there, Ellen? Great! Boy, Cooter, that sure is one awesome birdhouse. Well, your mom's one grade-A carpenter. Thanks, Cooter. I think that paint job is the perfect finishing touch. I'm sorry I didn't get here sooner to help out, Cooter. I had to make an extra special delivery to the birds. Hmm. Airmail, I assume. <laughs> you bet. Well, you can still help out, Ellen. We're gonna need some birdseed to put in our birdhouse. I think there's a bag in the shed. Birdseed? It's food for birds. They think it's delicious. Sure thing, Mom. <laughs> Maybe I could use some of that in my garden. But I wonder what you get when you plant birdseed.
Well, I guess I'll just have to wait and see. I wonder what it could be. Oh, I know. If you plant bird seed, you must get bird trees. Hello, Mr. Bird Tree. More water already? Well, here you go. You must be the thirstiest bird tree I've ever seen. What's that? You like some company? <laughs> okay. I was bringing the bird seed back to my mom and Cooter when I ran into my dad. Hi, Dad. What you doing? Hey there, Ellen. I'm going to get some bird seed from the shed to surprise your mom. <laughs> dad, I already got the bird seed. Uh, oh, you're one step ahead of me, Ellen. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Dad. Well, would you like a hand carrying that bag? Phew. Okay, I guess it is pretty heavy. Oh, I got it. I got it. <laughs> Are you all right, Dad? I'm fine. I think I might just be tired. Yeah, that must be it. I probably just need some food or a nice snack. Maybe I should get us a snack. Oh, that sounds great. You know what would hit the spot right now? A nice big peanut butter and jam sandwich. You know, that sounds pretty good. Since you mention it. I can go get us some bread and peanut butter. I'll be back in a flash. My hunt for the finest peanuts in the land has led me to far off side Jumbo. Everyone in the entire world knew that there was no one who loved peanuts more than Goober Garver. Oh, there you are, Mr. Garver. So, Mr. Garver, do you have the peanuts? All right, name your price. Hmm. Will you trade me the peanuts for an electric banana picker? Trunk warmer? How about a trip for two to Tahiti? My collection of baseball cards? Playing hard to get, huh? Hmm, I can't think of anything else I brought except this boring old back scratcher. Really? Wow, you must have a very itchy back. Hey everyone, I brought us some peanut butter so we can have some sandwiches. That sounds terrific. Yeah, a nice sandwich would sure hit the spot right now. Dad, do you still want a sandwich? Yes. Oh, please. It sounds like everyone wants a sandwich. Well, sure. Everyone loves peanut butter. Elephants love peanut butter, and monkeys love peanut butter. Aliens love peanut butter. Hey! Birds love peanut butter, too! What do you mean, sweetie? I just remembered! Peanut butter is great for birds! And we could make some bird feeders really easy, just by putting some peanut butter on some pine cones. Great idea, Alan. Why don't we make those together after dinner? Wow, I feel like I've been all over the world today. I won a gold medal at the 80th Sea Olympics. I delivered some mail to the birds and a fish. I grew the most exciting new plants of the year in my garden. And I traveled all the way across the globe in search of the world's finest peanuts. Actually... My parents and I were making some bird feeders together. Those birds sure sound happy. I think you're right. 
The new house must be a hit. I have a feeling they're going to enjoy their dinner, too. I bet they will. After all, this is delicious peanut butter. Actually... Actually, it is. 